things, okay? Is there a war with these guys, I think? Yes. Let's get my capital back. Oh, is that impending disaster? Or war exhaustion? Oh god. Holy crap. Well, I'm spending that down. Whew, that, that'll explain why I won, or lost that battle. I'm gonna handle this. So again, how often are those gonna fire, I wonder? Don't know if adding autonomy is a good idea, but let's just find out. Hemorrhaging loans, sorcerer disappears. Okay. Kind of looking forward to later going and seeing um, what other people do for this. Because I don't think this is very optimal. Next. Oh, I don't want to vassalize mixed tech while they're still at war, that's for sure. God, I'm hemorrhaging money. Uh... We consolidate again. The same thing, why can't I consolidate these? Okay. Am I just not allowed? I'm actually gonna sell a mercenary because this is uh, this is painfully expensive. Okay, I got the capital back. Still won't vassalize, but once this war is over, I'm sure if it you won't have an issue anymore.
So I don't want it to, it to vassalize Mixtech until A. I'm sure I could now, right? No, he wouldn't even do it now. Well, A. This war ends. This other war ends. And, uh, so I don't get pulled in, which doesn't matter anyway, because he won't take the deal. Because I don't want enough of, his, oh, enough of his land. Or B, I forgot what I was saying. Basic co belligerent. So, should be easy to do. Now, this again. Give me the warrior. Two stability. That's really nice. That's very nice. Peace offer from Taraskin. I only accept peace offers on my own terms, sir. Okay, mixed tech just lost all his land. So I can, uh, I can vassalize him. It'll cost me 45 diplo power for some reason, even though they're co belligerent. I wonder if that's true. Um, are they still at war with anyone? Just me. So clear the offer. Oop. Become my vassal. It'll apparently cost me diplo power, but that's the name of the game. It didn't cost me to. Okay, that was wrong. Good. One vessel acquired. Okay, so off of this guy. What I'd really like is this province and a vassalization. I believe I have a claim still. That was another run. Um, they'll give me that. They'll become my vassal. That'll give me a border on these guys if I ever need to betray them. They only have 12 ducats, so I'll let them have it. And I'll do that now. So. So. I just do it. It will cost me 45 diplo for the territory. But that's fine, I need the land. Let's see if these guys are pissed at me. Nope. Let's core this. Now I can finally start having an income. Whew. 
All right, two vessels. National decisions. Encourage divination. National unrest minus one. Sounds fine. Defeat rebels five prestige. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing that now. Sounds good. Alright, got my new CB against these guys. But we're allied. We're friends. We're all friends here. And I want to keep that, so I'm going to improve relations. So these, these fellows are allied with uh, Tlax, Kala, and no one else. So, I think they're my next target. So I'll sit back, I'll make a little money, I'll let that uh, peace expire. Alternatively, fight these guys. Another ally. Hmm. So hopefully the weight will also give my vessels time to uh, have an army. And now I should do what I did, I forgot to do before, actually declare my uh, rivals. Zapotec is a good one. Um, look at this war. What's going on here? They're just at war with each other. Who's winning? Itza is winning. Okay. Formulating plans. Big question about my plans are, what are they? What's the aggressive expansion map look like right now for everyone? Because I know Zapotec took a bunch of stuff, and I took a bunch of stuff.